you, why you're here. Um, obviously today we're going to be talking about becoming a part of the Amazon influencer program and how to not only get started, but to take that from zero to $10,000 plus every month. And I've done it. I'm doing it now. I've been doing it for a while now. So I'm really, really excited to share with you the content uh, that I've created to show you all really what is, how do we do this? And it's really just a lot easier than, uh, than you may think. So I love that. Okay. All right. Oh, cameras. Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. So glad you guys are joining us live. I'm so excited here. Um, I am going to keep everyone on mute, but if you want to talk or you want to throw something in the chat, um, I love questions. Questions help me make sure that I'm saying everything the right way and uh, giving, giving all the examples that make sense. So feel free to throw questions in the chat as I'm going through this. I'm just going to give people maybe like two more minutes to jump on here. Um, I would love to hear, are you all already Amazon influencers? Is this something that you're just getting started with, just kind of learning about? Um, just so I can make sure that I'm covering all the, all the best content, right? So we are going to start from the beginning. There are people that are wondering, well, how do I get approved as an Amazon influencer? And then once I'm approved, what do I, what do I do then? Um, how do I actually start making money? So we're going to go through all of that. We're definitely absolutely going to go through all of that. All right. Great, great. We've got some more people joining. Fantastic. All right, we've got one not an influencer yet. That's okay. I'm hoping to get approved with my Instagram. Fantastic. Trying to get approved as an influencer. Great. So I, um, I've been working one on one with a few people, and uh, I think half the people got approved right away, and the other half the people didn't get approved right away. And I think one thing that's really important to note is that um, you can apply as many times as you want. There's no, there's no. Oh, I, I can only apply three times. Uh, the, that comes later with the video stuff. But what I have found is that um, if you have a good TikTok presence, that's Amazon seems to be letting people in through TikTok with much less followers, um, but they really love engagement. And I'll talk about that a little bit more too. But um, I had someone who was like, I'm just not getting approved. And I'm like, try your TikTok. And she's like, well, it's, I don't just, I don't have as many followers. And um, I think Amazon is really competing with TikTok. So they want to see the TikTok um, influencers coming onto Amazon. You know, TikTok has their marketplace now and they are very much, very much in competition uh, or they're starting to be in competition, right? With each other. So, all right. Um, great, great, great. We got a few more people joining. Let me just, everyone, one more minute here to hop on. And then I've got some really good, really good content. Sandy says, that's my issue. I have over a thousand on Instagram, but might need to get more engagement with TikTok. Yeah. So while everyone's waiting here, a couple just quick tips about getting improved. That is like the biggest hurdle. Once you get approved, doing the three videos, that's easy. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that. Finding the right products. That's easy. I mean, you guys are literally in the hardest part right now. So the thing that I've learned, not only is it not about how many followers you have. It's all about engagement. So it's really, if you're not getting approved right now, what you can do is take your highest following social media handle and start doing everything you can, you can to get people to engage, whether it's just very simple, like this or that, um, do you like this better or that better? Just anything you can do to get them to comment or, you know, um, I'm trying to think I had a couple of other Good examples. I have a free training, um, which is I'll throw that in the chat right here. If if anyone has missed it or or uh, hasn't seen it yet, it's at smartbusinessmom.com/slash Amazon influencer, and I walk you through exactly you know the process to go through to apply for the Amazon influencer program. But then also, if you haven't, if you're not getting approved, what are some kind of prompts that you can do? I say, you know, give it like seven days, right? And post prompts to get people to engage with you. You know your audience, right? Just even very simple things. Like I said, this or that, or do you, um, you know, what's what's on your shopping list this week, or, you know, just anything you can do to get people to engage with you and then do that for five to seven days and then go back and reapply. Cause you can always reapply, you can always reapply on Amazon. 
All right, so I just want to make sure we've got everyone in here. We are good with YouTube. Well, we're at four minutes after here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, and like I said, I really, I welcome questions. I welcome feedback. I want to make sure that I'm covering everything that makes sense for all of you. And again, I, I think time is our most valuable resource. So I appreciate all of you showing up here live. Um, and I'm really excited to teach you guys. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take my video off only because then I'm able to look to the side and all right, here we go. Great, great, great. All right, can you all see my, see my screen okay? Wonderful, wonderful, okay. Let me just open the chat again, feel free to throw any questions in the chat or, um, or feel free to save your questions towards the end, whichever works better for you. I will answer every single question. All right, let's get started. First of all, again, thank you everyone for coming to this live masterclass. I am gonna be showing you how I earn $10,000 per month creating simple video content for Amazon. I know it sounds too good to be true. And quite honestly, when I first started with this program, I went to my husband, I'm like, this can't be right. This cannot be right. I can't believe Amazon is letting us do this, but they are. And it's a fantastic opportunity for anyone who's interested. So I'm going to show, I'm going to show you the exact system that I created uh, to help generate over $200,000 in the last year and a half without actually selling physical products. So let's dive in. All right. So what's so great about Amazon? If you still need to be convinced why Amazon is awesome, um, it's because they generate so much money and they have all of these products available for us to buy, right? It's, it's kind of incredible to look at the numbers here, $1.29 billion per day, um, which translates to almost $900,000 per minute and almost $15,000 per second, which I'm really just giving you these numbers because I want to put it in perspective, just how great this opportunity is and how big it is. With Amazon growth, there is over 2.5 million products available on Amazon. That means there are 2.5 million products that you could potentially be creating videos and putting reviews on Amazon in order to earn money. I have people that are like, oh, is the influencer program saturated? And oh, it's getting so competitive now. Um, it's not saturated. It's not getting too competitive because there are over 2.5 million products that you can choose from um, to, to do these video reviews with. With Amazon shoppers, I love this stat because it just shows that they, they complete 28 percent of their purchases within three minutes. People go to Amazon, they're ready to buy. That's another huge perk of this program is that the customers are already there ready to buy and Amazon's going to put you in front of them first and then pay you a commission if you help convince them to purchase. So just again, a couple more quick stats, 61% of people search for their products on Amazon first, which is really just amazing. And one thing that Amazon really, really prides themselves on is their customer service. And so that's always in the forefront of my content. When I'm creating things, I always look to see what, what would the customer want to know? What did I want to know? You know, what are the features and the benefits of these products? Um, and 41% of customers always read the product reviews before making a purchase on Amazon. 41% is a pretty high number. So who is this training really for? Well, it's for a lot of people, but I've really drilled it down to entrepreneurial creatives who enjoy making video content. You do have to create videos in order for this system and this process to work. The good news is you don't necessarily have to show your face. Um, the other thing is parents, people, children, older children, right? Anyone who loves shopping on Amazon. If you buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon, this is a great opportunity for you as well. Smart people who just want to earn their money back from all of the Amazon purchases. I talked to so many people, especially ladies and moms and parents that are like, I think I spent my whole paycheck on Amazon this month, you know, and I'm like, oh, I can help you earn some of that back. Right. So if you buy a lot of stuff again, this this is going to be a great opportunity for you. 
but not only are you buying things, but you know, you have to be a self-starter, right? You have to be motivated. And the good thing is that you can work as much or as little as you want to. You don't have to spend 40 hours a week doing this. And, um, you know, you get what you put into it. So I'll talk about that a little bit later, but you know, you can spend one hour a day or you can spend two hours a week on it, or you can spend 60 hours a week on it. The more time you invest, the more money you're going to make. But here's the thing. It's just such a great opportunity really doesn't matter as long as you have those qualities. So in the next 30 minutes or so, I am going to tell you about how Amazon has really taken over the online shopping world and why now is the time to get your own piece of it. Um, why has Amazon decided to create this program and give us this opportunity? I'm also going to talk about that, but basically what they're doing is they're rewarding us online content creators with free marketing on their pages, which again, I, you know, I've been an Amazon seller for over a decade. And when I saw this opportunity, I really thought it was too good to be true at first. So I am going to show you, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can create a semi-passive recurring income stream that pays you between two and $10,000 every month by helping online shoppers make these informed purchase decisions. So you know, there's just so much. You can make 2000 a month. You can make 10,000 a month. I know people that make $20,000 a month doing this. And it's like I said, it's, you get what you put into it. The best thing about it though, is you don't actually have to sell physical products. You're selling products with your content, but you're not actually dealing with inventory. You're not having to deal with customer service issues. I mean, this is just, again, one of the greatest things about this program. So Today, I'm going to be talking to you. I'm going to be showing you the five-step system to creating a six-figure revenue stream on Amazon. Let's dive in. Now, I'm going to show you what do you need to know in order to build this semi-passive recurring income stream that generates you all this money. And I just want to qualify this with, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of hype online. Make passive income and you can make, you know, $10,000 a day in your sleep doing nothing. And, you know, that's all fine and good. Um, with this, with this system, you can actually do that, but I don't say it's passive because you still have to put in the work. You still have to create the content. I'm not going to say, you know, it takes two seconds every day and you're going to make a million dollars, right? I call it semi-passive. It is very much recurring income because once you create that content, it will continue to pay you every day, but it's semi-passive because you got to do the work. And sometimes there's a little bit of upkeep. And that's really how I've been able to grow this income stream for myself to 10,000 plus every single month, it's because I do the upkeep as well. And I think that's a big piece of the puzzle that a lot of people aren't doing. So I'm going to show you how I do that too. All right. So by the end of this masterclass, you'll know exactly what to do to start earning this easy money, creating simple product reviews for Amazon. You'll have all the knowledge you need to start your new passive income stream today. We're going to go through, if you're not approved yet, we're going to go through how to get approved um, and then please stick around till the end. I'm going to be answering all of your questions um, and I've got some bonus content to help accelerate your success. The holidays are going to be here very soon. So we really want to dive in and get this going. Um, I do want you to please remember though, this is not all going to happen overnight, but if you are follow my advice, you could potentially be earning as soon as the next five to seven days. Um, I had somebody who started with my system and she, she dove in, she did it right away and she made her first dollar within five days. She was not even approved as an influencer yet. So it just, that is quick for sure. Um, but it just goes to show you that you can do this. You can get this going very quickly. And once you start seeing that money coming in every day, it's only going to keep you motivated. Um, one other thing too, that I just want to address really quickly is that you have to be willing to follow Amazon's rules. I am not trying to cheat the system here. There are, there's a lot of content online now about, you know, how to make a quick buck with this program. And that's just not, that's not my method. That's not what I teach. What I'm teaching is the long-term method. This is recurring income and you can't have this income recurring if you are breaking Amazon's rules because eventually they will shut you down. So we are always following Amazon's rules. And that's a big part of this system as well, because it's not okay to just, I mean, you could make a quick buck. You, you definitely can get away with it, you know, for a little bit, but um, we, we don't do that here. Our content is honest and we stay within Amazon's rules because if you follow the rules with Amazon, you will get rewarded with your earnings. 
Um, you do need to be a self-starter who isn't afraid to put in this extra work to get the best results. Like I said earlier, you get what you put into it. You can make one video a day. You can make 10 videos a day. You know, it's really up to you as much as you want to work on this. And that's another thing I just love about this. If I have something going on, you know, my kids are home from school that day. Someone's homesick. I don't have to create videos. I can do it the next day, you know, and I'm still earning that day because people are still shopping on Amazon. They're watching my videos and I'm still earning. So just real quick, like, who am I and why do I do this? <laughs> so <laughs> this is a picture of me and my three kids. So um, this, I mean, this is why I do all this. My ultimate goal, I, you know, I've worked nine to five jobs. I've been, I've been through school and grad school and internships and courses and programs and all that stuff. But this is why, you know, my big, oh, thank you, Sandy. Sandy said adorable kids. Thank you. Um, you know, this is why I do what I do. My ultimate goal is to have a lifestyle where I have the freedom of time to choose how I spend it and who I spend it with. And I'm going to, I mean, I'll be perfectly honest with you. That's exactly what I do right now. I mean, this, this, I am living my dream. I, I get to decide what I want to work on every day. I get to take my kids to school. I get to pick them up. I love being that person who sends them off to school. You know, uh, we always talk about what are you grateful for, right? So sending them off to school with a positive attitude and then being the person that gets them at the end of the day, um, to see like, how was your day and taking them to soccer practice and, you know, swim lessons and all that good stuff that that's why I do this. And that's why I've created this system. That's why I've just dedicated all of my work time to this system and this process and this opportunity, because I mean, it's, it's all for them. I have been a consultant and an agency owner for a long time. And I will tell you that trading dollars for hours is a great way to get yourself burned out. Um, I did this for many years and uh, like I said, about a, almost two years ago, I was really burned out. I had a lot of clients, you know, business was great. I had a lot of clients, um, but I was on meetings all the time. And, you know, I was trying to find coverage for people to pick up my kids and trying to, you know, get other people to take them places. And I just got tired of it. And I was like, I need to find something. I need to find something that will help me create both passive and recurring revenue. Does this opportunity exist? Um, you know, and I'm here to tell you, yes, yes, it does. Cause I've been doing it for a year and a half. Uh, I wouldn't be talking to you about it if I hadn't been doing it and been successful with it. And so, you know, my, my area of expertise has always been Amazon. And so of course, when I'm looking for an opportunity, I look to Amazon. So, you know, I took my experience as an Amazon seller and consultant for brands. That's what I've really been focused on for the last 10 years or so. Um, but as a result of that, I, I'm always on Amazon and I'm always looking at product listings. And so I, I have to say, I've gotten very good at looking at product listings and seeing what's working, what's not, where can I find an opportunity and how can I, how can I get a piece of this Amazon pie, right? This $1.29 billion dollars. Um, that they are generating every single day. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so I found this opportunity. I found, I found videos of influencers on product pages and was like, what is this? <laughs> so as soon as I discovered this program, I took the pivot and, you know, I still have some clients. I still take on a very select amount of clients, um, but this is really my main focus. And something that I've loved doing is pivoting from being an agency owner and a service provider to a content creator, because I get to create content once, and then it lives out on the internet and it pays me over and over again. Whereas providing services, yes, you get paid when you provide those services, but not only is it trading dollars for hours, but you can only reach so many people. Um, it really limits the amount of people that you can reach and that you can help. So when I discovered this, I applied right away. I got accepted and then I got approved for on-site commission um, with Amazon back in December, 2021. So that was the first month that I started earning with the Amazon influencer program. So last year was the first full year. I made over a hundred thousand dollars um, that was earned last year in 2022 with less than 500 videos. People always ask me, well, how many videos do you have? Um, 
I had less than 500. I'd have to go back and see what I ended up with at the end of 2022. But my guess is it's between two and 300 videos. So it really didn't take me that many videos to get to this amount of money. And it's because of my experience with Amazon and being able to look at those product opportunities um, and see and see the light. So these are just a couple of examples of products that I purchased on Amazon that I reviewed. Um, and then I started earning from, so this carry on luggage, uh, set, or actually it's just this one piece here. Um, but the price is 48 99 in 2022. I ended up earning almost $2,000, $1,945. Um, so as you can see, the ROI on this is just incredible. This is one of my favorite pieces, this jewelry cabinet. I love it so much. I've bought it for other people. Um, this jewelry cabinet is a little bit pricier, right? At uh, almost 130, but look at my earnings. $6,400 I earned on this jewelry cabinet that, again, I had already purchased this. I already purchased. I didn't buy this, you know, for this program. But once you get accepted, you can start creating these review videos on anything you already have. You don't have to invest a whole bunch of extra money, right? This one is my favorite because it's so simple. It's a double laundry hamper. And I bought this like a couple of years ago. It was actually my, my second video. So this was one of the videos that I submitted to Amazon for my on-site commission approval. And uh, it costs about $30. And I earned over $3,200 with this hamper. Um, it's really funny because my husband and I joke every time we put dirty laundry in it um, that it's our $3,000, you know, um, asset, right? So like a laundry hamper, I mean, it's a, I know you guys are, you guys are smiling and laughing and I am too. And it's like, it's so ridiculous to even say, um, but it's true. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's true. Yeah. I earned $3,200 with, with this laundry hamper. And that was just last year. So if you actually go like find this listing, You'll see my video on it. I now have two videos on it and I'm still earning. This is this is from a year ago uh, or not quite a year ago. It's still generating money for me almost every single day. And, you know, it probably took me 10 minutes to create this video. And like I said, it was one of the first ones. So honestly, if you find it, don't judge the content. It's not good, um, but it converts. So, you know, I guess it's working. Um, so would you like to learn what I have learned? Of course you do. That's why you're here. So I'm going to show you my five-step system to create this six-figure revenue stream on Amazon. There's so many different things you can be doing, but I really wanted to simplify it into just a five-step process. And of course, there's more details that can go here, but if you have the process, you can find the way, right? So the best thing again about this is that yes, we're selling things on Amazon, but we're selling through our content. We're selling through our authentic, honest, you know, review. We're not having to ship things. We're not having to deal with inventory. We don't actually have to talk to customers and deal with customer service. Like if that laundry hamper breaks for someone, that is not my issue, right? That's the, that's the seller's issue. That's the brand's issue. Um, I'm just on Amazon saying that it works for me and why I love it. Um, and that's it, right? So how exactly does this work? It's actually very simple. You create the content, Amazon does the marketing for you, which is this, this is the juicy part. Amazon does the marketing for you. Um, if you're here, you're probably a content creator. You know, I did create content before I really leaned into this and I always struggle because I don't have a huge audience. Um, I don't love being in front of the camera all the time, but the best thing is that Amazon is doing this marketing. You're not paying for marketing. You're not doing Google ads or Facebook ads, or even with social media that that content disappears. Um, with Amazon, it lives on there until, until a better video comes or, you know, or it lives on there forever. But basically you create the content, Amazon does the marketing for you, and then you get paid. It's a little bit more details. Um, again, this is my system. People do this differently. People focus on different areas of the Amazon influencer system. People or the influencer program. Uh, people, again, do different things, but I am showing you what I've done to get to $10,000 a month consistently, right? So here's what I do. I create one to two minute videos that showcase products that I use and I love, and the items are for sale on Amazon. You don't actually have to buy the item on Amazon. It just has to be for sale on Amazon. You just have to be able to tag that product uh, within your video when you upload your content to Amazon. 
So once you are approved, once those videos get approved, Amazon will publish your content across its marketplace pages. And it will show up in a couple different places. The product listing pages, that is, that's the money spot. And I'm gonna show you where that is. But if you're on an Amazon product page, you'll see videos, you'll see brand videos, seller videos, and you'll see influencer videos. That is the goal, that's where you wanna be. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how we're gonna get your content there. Another place though, is that you can get featured on the Inspire app. This is only on Amazon's mobile shopping app. They keep changing the icon, but if you look at the bottom, it used to be a light bulb. Now it more looks like a video play button. Um, but if you go there, it's really more like, you know, it reminds me of like TikTok or Instagram reels, but for Amazon, right? So it's all these influencers um, posting videos and pictures about, you know, items they love to travel with or their favorite back to school must have things. So that's another area where your content can get featured. We're not going to focus on that, but it is a perk because you don't have to do anything extra. Amazon will just put it on Inspire if they so choose. The other thing is that Amazon also gives you the opportunity to feature your content on ads displayed outside of Amazon. Again, if you've ever seen Amazon featuring influencers, um, this is for free. We are not paying for this opportunity. Amazon is choosing this content, but we are getting paid for that. So Amazon will use your content in their ads off Amazon, and they're still going to put your affiliate link on there, your influencer link. So you're going to get paid. Uh, it's, it's just, again, it's really incredible. Um, so how do you get paid? Right? So when somebody watches your video on Amazon, and then they do have to purchase the product, then you earn a commission on that sale. So it, that's why it's so important to have good quality content, to only include reviews and videos about things that you use and you love, um, be honest and authentic. And again, I'll go into a little more details there, but basically you're creating the video, you are publishing it to Amazon. Amazon does have to approve it, right? They want to make sure that it's good content for their customer. Customers always write with Amazon. And um, then, then when people watch your video, they buy the thing you're talking about or related products sometimes too, and you'll earn a commission on that sale. So, all right. So I have a question here. Is there a preferred format for recording horizontal versus vertical? Yes. Horizontal, 100%. You can do vertical. Horizontal is what I do. Um, horizontal is what makes me all my money. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in just a second too. Great question. Okay, so step one, apply for the Amazon Influencer Program. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and you can go directly to this link or you can just search Amazon Influencer Program. You wanna apply with your most engaging social media platform and Amazon gives you four options. It can be TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook. And I put it in this order because that's what I'm seeing as far as people getting approved. I'm seeing more people with TikTok and more people with YouTube getting approved um, and, and then kind of going into the Instagram and Facebook, right? So apply with those if you can. Now, if you don't get approved at first, you can try another social platform. You can also apply an unlimited number of times. So I want you to keep trying. It only takes two minutes if you're not already approved. Go try to apply right now. I would love to hear if someone isn't approved and applied right now and got approved, that would just make my entire day. Um, if you are not already approved, that means you need to grow your engagement. So figure out a way to post at least once a day on your highest performing social media platform with the goal of getting engagement. Okay. Whether it's, uh, would you prefer this or that, or give me your opinion on this or, um, throw a comment in the chat if this, right. So whatever you think your followers, I mean, it can be so simple. It's, you don't have to promote anything. You don't have to sell anything. Just get your followers to engage with you and then go back and reapply. There's no limit to the amount of times that you can reapply. Um, I just had someone who, who didn't get approved with Instagram or Facebook. I told her to go do TikTok and she was skeptical. She's like, that's my lowest amount of followers on there. And she went approved with TikTok and she got, um, yeah, she got approved right away. So the other thing too, is I have a free training resource. If you want the whole walkthrough, there's a four-step um, worksheet for free that you can download and it's smartbusinessmom.com slash Amazon influencer. So you can go grab that. Um, okay, so step two then, so once you've applied to the program, once you are accepted, step two is you want to unlock on-site commissions. So how do we do this? 
you want to create and submit three videos to Amazon for their approval. These three videos are like the most important content that you're going to be creating for Amazon. And you only get three tries. So it's really important that you pick good winning products, um, create amazing content, right? And so the best way to do this is to look at your order history and choose three products that, so these are my metrics, okay? Because I want to make sure that you're finding good products to start with. Um, but this applies for even later on too, after you get past, you know, these first three videos, you want to keep it clean, stay safe, always follow Amazon's terms of service, especially with these first three videos. But what you're looking for, you want a product that has between one and five videos on the product listing page. So you're going to find that right here. My example here has two videos. So I knew this was going to be a good product for me to review because it only had two videos. That's the sweet spot. Anywhere between one and five. If it has six videos, you can still create a video for it. It's just going to be a little bit more competitive for your video to show up on the product listing page. So I recommend just finding products that have at least one video, but less than six. Um, the other thing is you want it to have a 4.3 star rating or above. Why? Because we want to make sure the product is good. It, good. it has good ratings on Amazon. But the other thing is that I know as a seller, once a product review hits 4.4 stars, Amazon rewards it with a bit more organic traffic. So that's only going to help you because the product listing is going to become more visible. Anything under that 4.3 star rating, um, Amazon is not going to show it as much. Therefore, people aren't going to buy it as much. Therefore, you're not going to make as much money because it's not people aren't going to see your video, right? Um, so then the other thing is, too, you want to look for product reviews. Again, this kind of gives us a little bit of insight into the sales history and that people are buying it. And now I love, I love that Amazon posts this. If you guys can see under here, says 700 plus bought in the last month, find a product that has something like this, right? A hundred plus bought in the last month, a thousand plus bought in the last month. This is going to tell you that people are searching for it. People are buying for it. And that is a great product to try to get your video content placed on. So keep these in mind when you're picking your first three products and then, you know, even more, right? So of course, I already said this in the beginning, but we create honest, good, straightforward content. We're not trying to gain the system here. We are trying to build a long-term recurring revenue stream for you. So the goal of each product video is you want to describe the features and the benefits, of course, right? You can show the assembly, uh, close-ups, demonstrations, right? Whatever makes sense for that product. But I want you to include a pain point that this product has solved for you personally. You do not want it to be like an infomercial. Um, feel free to go to my storefront and look at my videos if you need some good examples. <clears throat> I always say, why did I buy this thing? What am I using it for? And what problem did it solve for me? And if you can share that with Amazon customers, it's going to be great, valuable information for them. And it's probably going to earn you a sale. So my top recommendations for your first three videos, do it horizontally. Why? I don't know. That's what makes all my money. <laughs> no, when you're, okay, people are watching vertical videos for sure on mobile, but Amazon, the, the product placement we're talking about, getting your videos on the product listing page, you want horizontal videos for that. If your goal is the Inspire app, vertical videos for sure. But again, we're talking about getting approved and making money as soon as possible. Go with the horizontal video. You can always make a second video vertical. I do that sometimes too. Um, when my horizontal video is doing well, I'll make another one. Um, different content, same product, vertical, just gives me two placements instead of one, right? Um, for these first three, you want to focus on one main product. Don't do a compilation, pick one main product. That again is going to help you get approved. And that is also going to almost guarantee as long as it's not too competitive and only has between one and five videos, that your video is going to go on the Amazon product listing page, which is where we want it to be. That is the top dog placement. That's exactly where you want it to be. Now with the length, your goal should be between 30 seconds and two minutes. That is the sweet spot that I have found looking at my analytics, um, talking to other Amazon influencers and seeing what other people are doing on Amazon. 30 seconds to two minutes is that sweet spot where it's short enough to retain you know, customers' attention, but it's long enough to really showcase the product and 
you know, you can include a quick personal story. Again, talk about the pain points. Why, what, what did this product solve for you and the features and the benefits too? What did you love about it? What did you wish you knew about it? Right. Um, so with this, uh, I do have, you know, a little kind of a little cheat sheet here um, of, you know, the types of video you can obtain. I won't go through every single one of these, but you can feel free to screenshot this if you want, just so you can refer back to it. But just to give you like kind of some inspiration here, you can do an unboxing. Um, I think that's okay. Not for your first three videos. I might want to stay away from that. Um, I think if you go with the format that I talked about, you'll really, you'll really find it's easy. Um, but you can do an unboxing. You can do an assembly. You can do the demonstration, right? You can do a close-up. So there's so many different ways you can feature these products. Um, and some other information to include is just, you know, again, what are your favorite features? Why do you love this item? Or what did you wish you knew before purchasing it? Why do you use it? How do you use it in your life? Um, I think the things not to allow to have in the video are almost just, they're probably more important than the things um, to include. So you do not want to, this will get your video rejected. Okay. Do not include any personal or identifying information, obviously addresses, phone numbers, and that also includes barcodes. Um, you don't want to put bar, you don't want to have any barcodes displayed like the packaging. Amazon will reject that, right? You can't have you know the shipping label from the box showing. Um, you can't have a barcode. You can't, you know, I actually just got a video rejected because I was shooting a video and I accidentally I didn't realize I was doing it out um my front window, and I guess I accidentally showed the street signs outside of my house, right? So Amazon flagged that and was like. You're, you're showing personal information, your street sign, right? So they caught that. I didn't. So you just want to be very, very careful. Don't give away any personal information. And it's obviously to protect your privacy, but Amazon will reject those videos. The other thing is no pricing or cost. Amazon will reject that right away. And the reason is because pricing on Amazon fluctuates. So don't talk about pricing. Don't even talk about like, this is a great value in your first three videos. Once you get approved for those first three, you can take many more liberties because if Amazon doesn't like it, they'll just reject it. And then you just edit it and try again. With these first three, just play it super safe. Don't talk about pricing. Don't talk about cost. And the other thing is just don't include children or minors um, without you know filming alongside you. I would say just even keep them out for your first three videos. I didn't have any of my kids in my first three videos. They appear every so often in a video that I do, but not that much. And it's very strategic. It's it's for a child's product. And I'm always sitting next to them if they're in it, right? So Amazon obviously doesn't want that liability, but I think a lot of people get hung up with that because they don't really realize these things that Amazon doesn't allow. Um, so if you've learned anything today, you've learned the things that the most important things to not include in your content. Um, okay, so the next step is going to be to edit the video if needed and then upload it to Amazon, right? So you've created your video. Maybe you need some editing. You can use a software or an app or a tool to edit your footage. Um, some of my videos need editing and some don't. So a lot of it is really just like kind of splicing if I have some ums or, you know, made, made a misstep or something. But the editing should be very simple. You don't have to hire a video editor to do this. You can even use these um, free software tools. These are both free Canva, CapCut. These are free. Um, they do have options to upgrade to pro features, but you can create videos for Amazon uh, for free with Canva or CapCut. I use them both. I love them both. I also use Camtasia, which is a paid software. So I would recommend waiting on that. Um, use Canva or CapCut now. Camtasia I use, especially if I'm doing you know, like a high price item where I'm showing the assembly and showing it in real life, you know, just a lot of video kind of compilation put together. I'll use something um, like Camtasia just because it's a little bit easier, but you do not have to buy anything to get started with this. You should wait until you start making money, right? So like invest in better equipment or software tools, like, because, because you can just do it for free, like just, just do it for free, especially with these first three videos. So once you're done doing any kind of editing to your um, video, you're gonna go ahead and upload it to Amazon's Creator Hub dashboard. Um, here, they're going to give you a couple different things that you get to upload alongside of it. So you get to choose a title and that's gonna be under 60 characters. 
They're also going to give you an option to create a thumbnail. They will give you one automatically once you upload the video, but you can also insert your own. And these two fields can always be um, changed or updated later. So the title and the thumbnail, play it safe with these first three videos. Very important. Don't make any claims. You know, that's another one. Don't say like, you know, this item is going to change your life or make you a million dollars, right? Just stay, keep it safe. Um, create a nice looking thumbnail or just use a screenshot of the product, like of something within your video. 95% of my thumbnails are screenshots from my video. I don't do a lot of text overlay. Um, I started dabbling in it, but I didn't get to $10,000 a month um, creating, you know, YouTube like thumbnails. I, I didn't. Um, the biggest thing though, is to tag the one product, tag only one product that will help you get approved. And that will help make sure that your videos appear on the product listing pages, which is where you're going to be making that money. All right. So once you've got your three, um, submitted, you, you gotta wait, you gotta wait a couple of days. I've heard of people getting approved. Um, the quickest is about two days, uh, that their videos get approved and that they are, um, unlocking this onsite commission. So that's why I say like, you could really be earning within the next seven days. I mean, you could have money in your Amazon account in seven days from now if you follow this. Um, but while you're waiting, you can still go build out your influencer storefront. And this is an amazing asset that you can use and post and promote pretty much wherever. This is also where all the content you upload to Amazon appears. So even before you get approved uh, for you know the on-site commissions, all of your content will appear on your storefront. You are able to create product videos, which is, you know, the main focus of this class and what we're talking about, but you can also post pictures and images. So I like to, especially if I have a clean house that day, right, I'll go and take pictures of the items that I'm, you know, that I'm making reviews about and I'll post them as images too. It's easy and it creates more content. It just gives you more opportunity to get your content seen on Amazon. Pictures are easy, right? Um, the other thing is idealist. You can put together lists. So I have, you know, my favorite back to school items. It's all in a list and I reference it in a blog post or I'll tag it on social media or things like that. One other thing too, is that right under here. So my, my brand name on Amazon is smart business mom. And you can see right under here, it's kind of small. It says earns commissions. So you don't necessarily have to disclaim that you're earning commissions when you post to your influencer storefront because it's right there. If you are just using a regular Amazon affiliate link, you always have to disclose that because it's not necessarily um, blatant, right? But Amazon did this strategically with your storefront. It already has that earnings disclaimer on it, which is why they allow you to post that link in so many more places um, freely than with just your regular Amazon associates link. They now have these curations, which I'm just kind of diving into. And it's basically like a kind of like idealist, but you can put together like videos and images. And again, link to this. Like if you're creating a compilation video of some sort, um, you can create these curations and they end up showing uh, right at the top of your uh, right at the top of your store there. Um, so I kind of talked about the earnings disclaimer again. I love this resource, the influencer storefront, because you can pretty much post it anywhere, right? Create collections of products. Like I just created one for like all of the equipment that I use to record. So I have, you know, my tripod and my microphone and my ring light and all that. So that's pinned at the top of my influencer storefront. So that when people ask me, I can send them the link and say, here's everything I use if you're interested, you know? Um, and then when they buy that stuff, I earn a commission. So love the influencer storefront. You can also put links to it just all over the internet, right? I'm, I'm getting clicks every day, even if I don't post the storefront link because I have it linked on my website, my social media. I have it in my email signature. So think about if you want to do that. I love having that because, you know, now I'm teaching right about this, but it was also like, hey, check out my Amazon store, even with my Amazon clients, right? They're like, oh, well, what does she recommend? Well, here's my Amazon store. So it's also in my email signature. Um, there's many places where, where you can put that. Okay. So step five, we've kind of, kind of gone over, you know, the four steps pretty quickly, but this is the roadmap, right? St apply. Once you get approved, start making your content. Your first three videos are critical. Once you upload those first three videos, you can start earning with your storefront, build that up, make it look nice. You know, Amazon loves seeing that while they're reviewing your first three videos. Um, and then 
Once you get approved with those first three videos, you can go scale your earnings. There are so many ways to make more money. And of course, one of those is to invest in more products to review. I do think that you need to look through your order history first. Um, I think there's a lot of things in your order history that you should probably be reviewing. But again, just look to see that they have those parameters between one and five videos, um, 4.3 rating or above, and then over that 100 you know, product reviews. But once you're done with all that, here's how you scale. Here's how you get to 10,000 a month. You invest in more products to review. What I do is I do strategic Amazon purchasing where I buy things that I already need, but I do my product research to make sure that I'm buying the thing and I will also have a good opportunity to not only get my content, my video placed on the product page, um, but that I'm gonna earn my money back and then some for this product. So strategic Amazon purchasing is a huge part of my strategy because I've, I've just built it into like my lifestyle now. Um, I give the example of, and there is a, there's a free training on my YouTube channel, um, the YouTube, the Masters of Marketplace YouTube channel, where I go through my entire product selection process. I was buying a megaphone for an event my husband was hosting. And so he's like, I need a megaphone. Do you want to, you know, get, get the best one on Amazon and make a video about it? So I recorded my whole process of what, of how I did that. Um, so that's a free training on Masters of Marketplace YouTube if you want to check that out. Um, I do have a question that just came up for the first three videos all for the same product or three products with one video each. Great question. Um, it's going to be the latter. So for your first three videos, you want to do one product per video, do three different products with one video each, and that will maximize um, your, your content. So you have, you know, say you want to do a microphone, that video will go get posted on the microphone product page, right? And then if you have a rug, right? separate video, separate product tagging, that's going to go on the rug listing. So one video, or I'm sorry, one product per video, but create those three videos for separate products, right? Okay. We have another question. When looking at products to see if they have the recommended one to five videos, what's the difference between reviews with video and actual videos on the product listing? Is there a difference? None of the reviews with video say they earn a commission. Ooh, that's a great question. So the reviews with videos, those are actual product reviews created by Amazon customers who are not in the influencer program. So if you go to a product listing page and you click on the video icon and expand it, right? You'll see the brand page or you'll see the brand uh, video. And then if there are any influencer videos, those will appear right under the brand video. And then under the influencer videos, that is where the customer review videos are going to be displayed. Those customer review videos are literally just videos that Amazon has pulled from the actual customer reviews that you can see at the bottom of the product page. And that's where like, if you click on like the 4.3 stars, it takes you the product, the product reviews that's different. Those people are not earning anything. They are not a part of the influencer program. They're just making videos to put next to their reviews. And um, so that means that those product review videos are not actually included in the between one to five videos. So that means that, you know, Amazon's testing. So they show up sometimes and sometimes they don't. Um, but you will see above those product review videos, if there's any influencer videos. Um, and that's that's what you want to look for is between the one and five there, um, just to make sure that you are able to get a good placement there. Good questions. Thank you all. Thank you all. Keep your questions coming, please. Um, so another thing you can do to scale is have brand partnerships and deals. So there are opportunities within Amazon. There are opportunities outside of Amazon where once, once you start posting videos, sellers are going to find you and reach out to you and email you, or they're going to um, DM you with your social media handles and they're going to ask you to do reviews for them. I mean, this happened to me within 30 days of me posting you know, my first videos. I had sellers reaching out to me. This is not a part of my strategy. And the reason it's not a part of my strategy, this random seller videos, right? is because a lot of them are newer products. Uh, basically when I do the product research, it comes back as newer products that don't have a lot of sales. 
And so for me, I know I can find better products that will make me more money and in less time. Um, so that's why I don't do it. However, if you're a beginner and like you want some free stuff, definitely say, you know, if someone's offering you a free, you know, bullhorn or megaphone and you need one, take it for a free video. I mean, it's a great way to get free stuff in order to start earning as well. But something else you can do, um, oh, and I'm sorry, going back to the brand partnerships, something that I do do is I partner with brands that I know or people that I've worked with through my agency or my consulting. Um, I partner with brands that I know mostly sellers based in the U.S. that um, I know I'll be able to earn my money back. And it's also a product that I'm going to use and it works you know, within my, you know, within my brand, right? So my brand is Smart Business Mom. And I talk all about home stuff, stuff for my kids, stuff for my business, um, stuff for my dogs, stuff for my homes, you know, things like that. Um, but if someone were to come and say like, oh, can you review this like camping supply equip equipment or, you know, I mean, maybe I'd have like my son help out who's a Cub Scout, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking on products that I just don't know about or that I wouldn't actually use. I'm very much into like authenticity and honesty. And um, that's not to say you can't review everything. You certainly can, but you can be strategic about it. But the other thing you can do is you can ask your friends and family. And I love this option because once I started talking about this opportunity with my friends and family, they were like, Ooh, tell me more, <laughs> of course. And I have now made deals with a couple, you know, a few select friends and family where I go to their house, they help me film product videos. So I use the thing. I make sure again, that it's something that fits within my brand that I actually use and love and recommend and all that good stuff. Um, but I then, you know, incentivize them like, Hey, I'll give you, you know, 500 bucks for the day. If I can come to your house, I vet the products first. Right. So I'm not wasting any time. Um, I shoot, you know, between 20 and 50 videos and for 500 bucks, you know, you don't even have to incentivize them, but, um, I did this with a couple of friends. I paid them and with all the friends I did this with, I ended up making over $5,000 from those videos. So great ROI on that. Um, people go to Airbnbs. I mean, that's a strategy you can use. I, you know, again, I would just stick to things that you, you use and you love, and you know, you know, that you want to recommend. But another way that to scale is that you need to understand the earnings and the video reporting. This is really important. You want to make sure that you're analyzing the reporting to find your top performers. I go back. Uh, I mean, I look at my stats every day, but when I'm really at the end of the month, I'll go back and do an analysis and say, what were my top performing products by unit? What were my top performing products um, that earned income? And how can I not only make sure that I'm checking to make sure that those product videos are on Amazon all the time, uh, making sure they stay on those listings because sometimes they fall off. And that's a part of the strategy is going and checking and make sure that you are able to re-add them. Um, but what what are the top items that are making me money and how can I make, how can I get more of those? You know, for me, it's a lot of home stuff. And so I go and I, I that's really a big part of my focus. And now that I have a second place, I have a second home, I buy things for that place to use, but to also, you know, review for Amazon. Um, one other thing too, is, you know, create a nice looking thumbnail tag, only one product. We talked about these things, right. But these are just a huge part of the strategy. And like you said, the maintenance going back and checking the videos, especially the top performing videos, especially the videos of products um, that are higher priced because people tend to watch those videos, uh, a product that's priced at $5.00 the customer probably isn't necessarily going to watch your video because it's five dollars right but if it's a piece of furniture like a desk a couch um or even like a, a, a electronics or just a higher price item people tend to have a longer period of purchase consideration and so they're going to be more likely to watch your video the thing is, is that when they watch your video and buy the thing, you're going to be rewarded handsomely because now your commission is being earned on, you know, a $1,200 couch instead of a $5 pencil, right? So keep that in mind, um, perform the proper maintenance, check your videos, take action on the videos that have fallen off or aren't working. Um, you can update titles, you can update thumbnails. There's so many things that, that you can do to kind of get Amazon to review the content again and get it sent back out into the Amazon ecosystem there. 
And the other thing, the way to, to scale is to repurpose, repurpose your Amazon content. Amazon does not mind at all if you go post your content on YouTube or social media. So you're already creating this content for Amazon. So now what are the other ways that you can take this content and make even more money? Because if you take your videos, which I have a YouTube channel now where I post um, a lot of my product videos on there, and then I tag an affiliate link, right? So people that are on YouTube and see my video and click on my Amazon affiliate link and purchase, now I'm making money through YouTube. And Amazon loves that. They love when you bring people on to Amazon. So think about how you can repurpose your content. And there's all so many different ways, just so many different ways. All right, so we've gone through the five-step process that did take a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to make sure I answered all the questions and give you guys as many details as possible because you can you can go start this. I mean, you can go start this right now. Like, so yeah, what, what's the question now? Now what? So option one is you can figure out how to do this all yourself. Um, I've given you the steps, right? I've given you all the steps. This is the, these are the exact steps that I've taken um, to earn 10,000 plus, you know, every single month consistently um, for over, over a year now. Um, you, you can figure out the rest. You can Google it. You can watch YouTube videos. There are some really great YouTube videos out there. Um, the thing that makes me hesitant about YouTube videos is the sources, right? <laughs> you may, um, people, people, you know, people give good information and some other people don't give good information. And so, um, you can go get the knowledge there or, you know, try something and maybe your content gets approved. Maybe it doesn't. Um, you, they're not telling you all the rules. Uh, you know, it's just, you're spending a lot of time. You're going down the rabbit hole. And this is kind of what I did in the beginning to, you know, figure it out. So there's your option one. There's tons of free information out there. If you are, you know, cash strapped, like I said, there's plenty of places where you can find free information. I have YouTube videos for sure. Um, other people do just be careful who you're listening to out there. There are good sources and there are not good sources. Um, but the option two is you can learn my exact step-by-step -step proven system um, from myself, from someone who has been, not only been selling on Amazon for over 10 years, um, but I have earned now over $200,000 with directly from the Amazon Influencer Program. This is not brand deals. This is not repurposing content. This is just my on-site placement commissions um, has been over $200,000 in the past 18 months. So what I have done is I've put all of my knowledge into this course. It's called Influence and Learn, and it gives you the Amazon Creator Success System, everything I have done, everything I've showed you and more to be able to create the same exact business system that I have created, but for yourself, right? But the important thing is that you get the system and I'm giving you all the knowledge to get to $10,000 plus every month. I keep saying the holidays are coming up. The holidays are coming up because I'm so excited. I love the holidays anyway, but being in e-commerce and especially now being an Amazon influencer, all the money that's spent on Amazon is just opportunity for you, for you and me. So what are you going to get out of this course if you decide to join? You're going to get the exact roadmap plus step-by-step -step guidance all along the way so that you can build your own recurring revenue stream with unlimited earning potential. Okay, so you're going to get everything. Um, I don't think that described features and benefits is supposed to be in there. Sorry about that. Um, but the other thing you're going to do is you're going to get everything from how to get approved to the exact right products to review um, alongside all the abundant opportunities that there are to grow this side hustle into a full-time income in a year or less. Um, I, again, I, I started earning and the more I earned, the more I was motivated to put time into this program and I just kept creating videos and I kept earning more. Um, you're also going to get the shortcut to start earning within the first seven days, which I kind of talked about already, but plus the best ways to maximize your time so you can work when you want and keep earning when you can't. Um, there's a lot of not great products out there to review. There's a not, there's a lot of not great brand deals that you can kind of get sucked into that will drag you down. And this course is going to show you basically what to do and what not to do. Um, so what else are you going to get out of this course? You're going to get everything you need to know to create the content that sells on Amazon. What is Amazon looking for? What is the customer looking for? And very, very importantly, what should you not be talking about so that your account doesn't get banned? Um, there have been 
some influencers in the last month or so, big ones that have gotten banned from Amazon. And um, it's a shame, but they were teaching the wrong information. They were teaching how to game the system. But here's the thing is that if you don't follow Amazon's rules, you'll get banned. But even more importantly is that your earnings commissions are delayed 60 days. So basically when you earn in June, you're not getting paid. Your commissions from June are getting paid out the end of August. So if you do something shady to get your account shut down between the beginning of July and the end of August, you're not getting that money. Uh, you're out that money. So yeah, it's it, it's a big deal. The, the do's and don'ts are, like I said, probably more important than the content to include is the content not to include. Um, but I'm going to show you exactly how to find the top quality products to review that are guaranteed to bring you an ROI. That's return on your investment. I showed you three products that made me thousands of dollars. Again, I love using my laundry hamper. I'm going to keep that thing forever because it just makes me feel awesome every time I throw some dirty clothes in there. <laughs> um, um, I'm also going to almost going to show you the best way to optimize your storefront, uh, which we went over a little bit, um, but then also how you can earn more money without creating new content by repurposing that content. Again, I talked about it, um, but I'm going to show you the purpose of the course is to show you exactly what to do. Sandy says, don't mess with Amazon. Oh my gosh, I can't. I mean, if I had a, a sign or a banner, like that would be what would be behind me. Don't mess with Amazon. As a seller, you know, you just, you can't, you can't. And, and as an influencer, um, I just, I think some of these people coming on the platform now are like, YouTube is so, you know, YouTube and Facebook, and they're not shutting down your account for saying, you know, how to gain the system or make a quick buck. But Amazon, if your goal isn't to help their customers, then they're not interested in you. You have to follow by their, their rules. Um, so here's just a quick review of the course curriculum. There are five modules. The first one is all about the program, the opportunities, um, how to start earning, and of course the do's and don'ts. So we talk about really everything you need to know to get started, all the information you should know before you actually create your first three videos. Module two is going to be all about how to unlock those on-site commissions with your first three videos. So what you need to know, what to say, what not to say. And then I broke it down into a three-step process where step one is really like prepping, you know, making sure you have the right audio, video, lighting, all that. Um, and then I actually did not one, but two separate examples where I recorded myself creating these videos. Um, I recorded uh, two, I created two different videos, um, basically, you know, live in this course. I did one for a welcome mat and one for a pillow or, well, yeah, one for a pillow. Um, and I, I talked about the different ways of how you can create product videos, either using, you know, showing your face or being faceless and not showing your face. Because I think some people are hesitant to do this because they're like, I don't want to be on video. I don't want to be on camera. Um, and like, you don't have to be. I don't love being on camera, um, but I do love making these videos. It gets me really excited. So sometimes I will have my face in it if I think it's strategically worth it. And other times I just won't. So I, I film myself doing two different versions of this video, or two different kinds of videos. Um, with actual products. And then step two was editing. So then I used two different software. So I'm, again, just letting you watch over my shoulder how to get set up, how to create the video, how to edit. You got two different options, like kind of with anything. Um, and then how to actually upload to Amazon. And then I go through the approval process, what you should expect once you're done uploading to Amazon. Um, and then of course, once you get approved, and I have to say everyone that's gone through this course, and submitted their first three videos has gotten approved on the first time. So I'm super excited that, that we are 100% approval rate on the first time here with everyone that's already gone through this system. Um, so then module th three, we're really going to be diving into your content creation system. How do you plan and track your Amazon videos? How do you, you know, I have a, I have a spreadsheet. I have a um, downloadable worksheet that gives you the step-by-step -step that you can reference every single time you create a video. Um, I have someone I've been working with that's like, I just don't want to be on camera because every time I just press record, I freeze. So I gave her this um, kind of cheat sheet, right? That's included in the course. And she's like, it's kind of a lifesaver because I just hang that in front where, you know, the camera can't see, but I can see. So if you feel like you're freezing, not only will, first of all, you'll get better doing it, the more content you create, but um, 
it just makes it easier because now the whole process is right in front of your face. You don't even have to think about it, right? You don't even have to think. Um, I'm going to show you my recording space setup. So I have two recording spaces, my home office, and then my condo office, which I um, I talk about a little bit in the course. I actually, you know, because I earned $200,000, I've been working out of my house for, you know, over 10 years. But what, um, what I did then was I reinvested some of that money into an offsite office location, which is in, in the exact perfect place for me. It's in downtown where I live. And uh, I love going there, but I go there to work. I go there to record. Um, and then I've also furnished the whole entire place with things from Amazon. So naturally there's lots and lots of videos. I have a whole idea list um, on my storefront uh, that shows all my condo items. So we talk about that and then more, um, just more ways to edit, right? Module four is super, super important and probably one of the most important once you get approved, but how do you find those best Amazon products to review, right? What is the process, the strategic Amazon purchasing process to help you earn quickly, right? You can create 500 videos, but if you're creating 500 videos on products that don't really sell well, they're not going to make you a ton of money. So you've got to know how much are these products selling and where's the opportunity? And then I also talk about creative ways to get more products. I kind of went into it a little bit in this presentation, right? You could proposition a friend, you can create a brand deal or a partnership, um, but I've got a whole bunch of different ways, a whole bunch of different more ways that you can get creative and get more products here. Um, number five is really all about reporting and scaling. So understanding your stats, um, your sales and your video reporting, how do you track this progress? And then how do you take this information and analyze it to create actionable insights, right? What are your top performing products? What is the category that's earning the most for you? So just going into all of that. And then of course, checking your work, optimizing for success, making sure those videos are still working for you even one year later, two years later, right? Um, and then repurposing your video content in order to earn more. So that's the overview of the whole course. You're getting the advanced Amazon influencer system that again, you can absolutely use everything in here to get to 10,000 a month or more. You're getting scripts, templates, worksheets, step-by-steps, all of it. Um, product selection, workbook tools. I mean, it's basically, like I said, it's, it's everything you need to build this into a six figure earning um, system for you. Product tracking sheets, stay organized, prompts, all that good stuff. We have a Facebook group now where you can come ask questions. You can also network with other Amazon influencers, um, give feedback on the things you're doing, You know, be the first to know what is Amazon testing, right? Um, so if I break this down, right, the total value is like over $5,000. And that is, that's a ton of value. Um, but I'm not going to charge you $5,000 because I want this to be accessible. I want this to be available to the people that I know need this. So instead of $5,000 today, the price is going to be $497. So just under $500, because I know that if you buy this, you're going to make 500, you're going to make $500 and then you're going to make a thousand dollars and then you're going to make $5,000. So, you know, it's really it's really going to help motivate you to earn that money back as quickly as possible, but I'm going to give you all the tools and the resources to do it yourself. So I have all the, all the confidence that you'll be able to do it if you decide um, to come join us. So I do have a few bonuses for everyone who's watching. This is the first time I'm opening this course to the public. I've talked about people that have gone through it. These are personal friends of mine or family members or, you know, people in my business network who um, they're helping me make sure that I'm including all the right stuff in this course. And so, you know, this is really the first time that I'm opening this up to the public um, and to, you know, my, my email list and my channel and all that stuff. So as a bonus, the first 20 people only that purchase, um, I will personally review your first three videos, or I will audit your existing storefront. Um, if you're already approved, and you've been doing videos and you're looking to get to that 10K a month, I will audit your storefront. Or if you haven't been approved yet for onsite commission, I will review every single one of your three videos and give you my feedback um, so that you'll know if you need to change anything or update anything to guarantee that you're going to get approved that first time. 
Um, I do have a second bonus too, and that's going to be um, five simple and easy ways to repurpose your Amazon content. So it's taking what you already have and just doing a couple extra steps that's going to earn you even more. It's not doing more work. Um, this can be automated. This can be outsourced, but you've already created the content. So now what are you going to do to earn more um, by putting it out there in, in all the strategically right places on the internet? Um, and because you all came here live and because you all are here for the first time that I'm releasing this program to the public, you also get $200 off the purchase price if you purchase um, by Monday. So today is Friday. Um, you have basically through the weekend, um, this discount code, oh, I should show the discount code, huh? The code is make money. So if you go and purchase, make sure you put make money in there and that's gonna bring it down from five or from $497 um, to 297. So almost cutting the price in half. And again, I just, I'm doing this because I, I want, I want you to start making money and the holidays are going to be here so soon. And if we don't get started, I mean, I, I, I used to tell my clients this all the time, like every day you're not selling on Amazon is a day that you are losing money. And it's the same thing with this influencer program. Like every day your content is not up on Amazon is every day that you are losing potential income um, of people watching your video and purchasing your stuff and, you know, you're earning money. So um, like I said, I have these, these, uh, these comments are from my YouTube. And so this is the, this is the comments that I've gotten on my free content. Um, and so the paid content is I will say even better. It is everything I've got, you know, thank you for another great video. Great video. Very helpful. Um, this is top tier information that people would pay for. So that was really nice to hear. Cause I'm like, well, that was the free stuff, man. <laughs> um, you know, I've got, thanks for putting these videos out. I'm in the influencer program, um, just for two months and your wisdom and expertise is invaluable. I usually watch them multiple times. Um, so I love hearing that. And also, wow, this was gold. Thank you for sharing. So, um, you know, I do, I do think that I do a pretty good job of, of teaching and of training. I, I have three little kids, so I know how to um, be very detailed without being too wordy, I think. Um, but that's kind of my style of teaching. And there's, you know, there's kind of the evidence from people that have been watching just my free videos. And again, because you're all joining live. Oh, one thing that I didn't say early on is that one of the one of the things in Amazon's terms as an influencer is that you are not supposed to show the inside of your Amazon dashboard, right? So if you see people on YouTube and Facebook and they're showing screenshots of their earnings, that is actually against the Amazon influencer terms of service. They may or may not know that. I don't know. But again, I'm a rule follower and we don't mess with Amazon, as Sandy said. So, you know, this is just proof for you that these are the deposits from the Amazon influencer program into my business bank account. So, um, again, I just, I was trying to figure out how I can like show proof. And one of my, one of my friends was like, well, why don't you just pull from your bank statement? Right. And then that way I can show you the proof, but I'm not violating Amazon's terms of service. So that's also very important. Um, so there's the proof. Where did I start at? Oh, it's kind of kind of awkward here, but I started at July 2022. So that was like month, you know, seven or eight or so. And that was when I earned 8,500. So again, these are two months back. So my July earnings would have been from May of 2022. So I'm sorry. So that would have actually been about um, not quite six months into the program was I was earning 8,500. Um, and so then here, 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 right? And then um, look at this, so February of this year. So this was December of 2022. I earned over $17,000 um, last December. And so it's just, it's, the opportunity is just incredible. Uh, and again, I, I'm, I'm honest, I wanna show you my numbers because I just, there's no way that I can make 2.5 million product reviews. <laughs> <laughs> That's how many products are on Amazon. You know, this opportunity is just, it's just abundant and, and just really now is the time. Now's the time to get in with the holidays coming and people are just going to be buying more stuff on Amazon. Um, I have a question. Where do we find the Amazon terms of service for this program? Um, if you Google Amazon affiliate program, um, and then there's also actually, let me grab, let me grab you the link. Uh, and put it in here because they have a creator 
Where is it? And I can also, if anyone's interested to, I can, uh, we can go in, we can go in the course as well. Uh, if anyone wants a sneak peek, I would be happy to show you what we got in there. Um, I'm just looking for the right. Um, I will throw it in the chat. Um, I will throw it in the chat, but it's in there. It's in the course. It, it's the do's and the don'ts. Oh, actually here. And I will, oh, someone said yes, please. All right, so I will do, let me just finish this deck. I think this is the last. Um, yes, take action, get started. The holiday shopping season will be here soon. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me via email. If you don't want to put them in the chat, send me an email. Um, happy to answer questions about getting started, product selection, um, reporting, repurposing, other earning opportunities, right? So um, let's see. We have, all right, I'm going to find the terms of service for you. They're in the course. So I'm going to link that and then I'll show you there. I have one question about how many hours a week would you say you put into this to make that money? Great question. So I think it really depends. Uh, really, really depends. There will be weeks where I put in literally two hours um, because I that's all I have, right? But when I first started getting this, I, I, I probably dedicated about, I would say 15 to 20 hours a week when I first started, um, just because I was getting, getting, this, getting into it and trying to figure it out. Um, but now I spend less time doing it because I'm strategic about my product selection. Um, but I also probably spend just as much time creating new content as I do maintaining my old content because I'm able to look at the analytics and see, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like, what's more, what's more expensive, um, bringing in a new customer or, you know, nurturing, a, a, an existing customer, right. And bringing in new customers, always more expensive. It, it's kind of the same with videos. Um, it's going to be a little bit more time to do the videos, but if you go back and check on your old videos, you don't have to spend quite as much time creating new content all, all the time. So I would say right now, like on an average week, I probably spend between 10 and 20 hours a week doing this, um, which I mean, really isn't that much to be honest. Um, I could spend a lot more and probably make a lot more too. Um, okay. I hope that answered the question. Okay. Kyla said, thank you so much. Just purchased and legit just filmed a product while listening to you. Yay. Oh, that makes me so happy. So, so happy. Kyla. Awesome. 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 I can't wait to hear um, about how your videos go. So excited. Donna says, yes, please. How much time to complete the videos in the course? All right. So I'm going to dive into the course here and then how much time. So right now there's about three hours of content on there and we are live through the first three modules. There's going to be module four and five come out next week. And then the week after that, and it's probably going to be like another hour or two of content. So I would say maximum, it's going to be five hours of video content. So, I mean, you could, um, I had somebody who texted me the other day. She's like, I binge watched everything. And I'm like, you binge watched it like on Netflix, you binge watched my course. So she went through everything. Um, yeah. So everything that's available is three hours. There'll be probably up to about five hours of content there. Um, it's great return on time investment. Yeah. It, it really is. The more, the more videos you make, um, the easier it is to make more videos and the better you're going to get at it, the easier it's going to become. And all right, I'm going to throw my, throw my camera on here just a second. And, um, I'm going to show you all what we have inside the course. And I'm also going to link to the terms of service, which is in, um, which is in the course. So hang on just a second. Let me just log in here. There we go. All right. Let's start with number one. Oop. All right. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again just so you guys can all see. Um, and if anyone has questions, please feel free to keep throwing them in the chat there. Happy to answer any more questions here. Get my chat back up. Great, great. Okay, so here is 
Well, we go into the dashboard. There we go. So here's inside the course. So the first, so the first, like I said, the first module here, we've got welcome. We talk about how to earn. And then basically everything that I, everything I'm talking about is all linked to within the course. Um, so you have uh, just some helpful information, um, you know, your commission rate plans, the product placement opportunities, I'm going to go through and actually show you, right? So where do you find, here's the videos. Um, here was one of the questions, right? So here's where the video, so if you click on this video here, this is six. So we're going to see quite a bit, um, quite a few videos in here, but then, so here we have the seller video is all the way at the top there. Once I actually click on it. So there's the seller video. Here are the influencer videos, right? And then the customer review videos are even underneath there. So those customer review videos are not included in the six videos. Those are separate. The six only include brand videos and um, influencer videos. Um, so I talk all about the different places where your content can show up. Here's Inspire, just kind of walk through that. Your storefront, um, how to earn from your order history, how to access your order history, right? Just like some tips on what to look for. Um, and then the video and tech recording. So I have a link to, you know, kind of what I'm doing. Um, I'm really just showcasing like everything that I use. There's my ring light. You can see like I'm in this, I'm in the same spot here um, in my home office. And then this is one of my favorites, the do's and the don'ts. So here is the here is the um, operating agreement. Let me put this in the in the chat here, so everyone has it. This is really really important. Oh, and we've got a couple of other questions here. So there's the top do's and don'ts. That's a good one. But the other one is. Uh, we have this one as well, which is the guidelines. This one is really, really important as well. So I'm going to throw this in the chat. And of course, of course, I can pop in the link to order the course. Fantastic. Let me put that. Oh, here. Well, that's going to be. Courses by Kathleen is the sales page. And let me just pop that into the chat so everyone has a nice, easy access there. I should have done that at first. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to go order, it's Courses by Kathleen. Um, there are a couple of questions that I just want to, and here I'll go back to inside real quick. Um, this module two, I, I love module two because it's, it's how to do everything. You Everything you need to learn everything you need to know. I've got even more links under here as far as, you know, what to read through, but I'm telling you, you know, I'm telling you in the videos and then I'm just giving you additional resources to go look at if you want to learn more. And then I'm talking about like, how did I do it? I, I give a ton of examples. So these videos in here are, these are my influencer videos. Um, so I'm talking about the different kinds, right? Having your face in it, not having your face in it. And then, um, yeah, I do two of these product filming live. So this is in my downtown condo. Um, so I'm just showing you and explaining to you exactly how I'm doing it. I'm showing you how I record it, everything I do. Um, and then we do another one and then we do the editing too. So if you're like, I have no idea, I've never edited a video in my life. Um, that's okay. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Like literally I'm gonna show you how to cut and splice and put it together. And, um, then after we're done with that, then we upload it to Amazon. Um, one other one that I want to show you is the planning and tracking. So this is a, this is a resource that I created because I use it and I'm always trying to find ways to automate things and save time. So, um, with the course, you will get this video tracking sheet, um, where I go through and just show you how I track everything, how I, manage it and then how I use this information to kind of create my process flow. Uh, and then we also look at, you know, what are some of the tools that I use to figure out like how much monthly revenue each um, product is selling on Amazon. I have the video creation workflow here where I go through and you can also download this from the course. Um, and then these are the stats. So this is like the monthly stat sheet that I go through and talk about where to pull all this content, where to pull all these stats from, 
and then what you should be what you should be looking at, where to pull them from, and then how you actually use this information to make sure you're earning even more the next month. Um, and then I think the last one is one thing that I always do too, is I'll go back and check my top performing products. So it includes the spreadsheet on um, the top performing products. How do we track them? And then my system for making sure that they're in one place. You can do this tracking. Um, I have created a system that I outsource to my virtual assistant. So he does that now, but I have all my top performing products. And then he goes and checks on them once a week, fills in the spreadsheet for me, and then sends it back to me. So then I can go and take action. Um, and then I talk about like, what do I do in certain situations? If the product listing, you know, the video's fallen off the product listing and um, what do I do, right? So there's all that stuff. And I, you know, show you my recording space. So my home office, my condo office, office, just the different spaces that I have set up. So yeah, there's like, there's my couch, um, like where I sit, where my lighting is. So kind of just the behind the scenes of there's my desk or a table over here in front of natural light where I do like the product only shots. So, I mean, I'm, I'm given, I'm pretty much given everything. Um, and I don't have module four and five live yet, but they will be live. Um, four is released next Friday and then five is released the following Friday, but you can still see here. Uh, what's all included there. So um, I hope that was helpful. I've got a couple of more questions here I want to make sure to answer. All right. How important is the branding for your storefront? For example, you can review both business products and home products because you're a smart business mom, and that makes sense. My social media is all about Christmas. So would that be too narrow of a brand? Should I do something more general? Um, great question. I love this question. So for your, for your branding on your social, I think you're doing the exact right thing for Amazon. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you are, yes, you're, I mean, people can follow you on Amazon, but because Amazon's doing the marketing for you, I mean, if you go and look, it's a lot of like reviews by so-and-so or, you know, honest feedback from blah, 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 you know, like with with the Amazon videos, you do not have to, you don't have to have a niche. You don't have to just like my, my brand smart business mom is more just like, cause that's the stuff I buy. Um, but I, I have, I do actually have camping stuff, you know, before when my son went camping, I have power tool stuff that my stepdad helped me create because I was at his house and he was building stuff. And I was like, Ooh, teach me. Right. Oh, can I film that? You know? So I have things that are I've reviewed and that I've used that do not fit with smart business mom whatsoever. The branding, your branding on Amazon is definitely not as important as social media. So if you're only doing Christmas stuff on social media, I think you're going to thrive in Q4 on, on with the influencer program, but you, it does not have to be all Christmas stuff by any means. I mean, there's people out there reviewing like toilet paper and pens and cookies and although I did do a cookie video too but you know like you can do I mean you can do anything the branding it, it really doesn't matter once you're on Amazon and creating the video because there isn't a great way for like your followers I mean there are like lifestyle influencers there are more like home focused influencers but um I just, I look at it as more of, I'm a general influencer and I review products that I just use and love in my daily life, whether it's for home or office or I'm traveling or, you know, whatever it may be. So um, don't, don't let that limit you in what you do. Um, all right. Link to the course. I popped that in there is the location for the discount code on page two. It should be, uh, it should be on the checkout page. Oh, which I'm not going to have on here because here, let me, let me log out. It should be, um, there should be a, a link that says like coupon code. Let me just pull it up in my incognito browser here where you can put that in. And it was um, make money. I did that. So I would, so I'd remember. Um, it should say, I froze on my screen. Hang on just a second here. Um, did you find it? If not, uh, let me, let me find it. Um, Nancy says we are building a new brand in the travel market, but don't have many followers on social yet for the brand. Is this a way to get started or how many followers do you need to get approved? Um, so Amazon doesn't exactly tell us how many followers we need to get approved. 
it's really more about engagement. Um, I know people that have been rejected with 10,000 Instagram followers. And I know people that have been approved with 200 Instagram followers. So it really depends on Amazon's looking for your engagement. They definitely want to see that you have, you know, a presence off of Amazon. That's why there's kind of this barrier to entry, but it's also, um, you know, kind of trial and error too. They really don't tell us. They want to see that you're a real person, obviously, that you're authentic, that your um, community is engaging with you. So like I said, if you're not getting approved right away, I mean, it doesn't hurt to apply, right? Because the worst that happens is they say no, and then you build up your engagement and then you reapply. There's no limit to, um, to how many times you can apply here. Um, let me just, I want to, sh I want to show everyone where the coupon code is because that's very important. I think I just need to sign out. All right, let's try this. You guys can all still see my screen, I believe. So it should be right here, coupon code. And if you do make money and this will work until uh, Monday. So that's where you put it in right there, make money. And then I'll get the price down to that 297 there. Um, and you can do credit card or PayPal, either one. All right, let's see here. Any more questions, any more hesitations, anything else I can, you know, help answer, or I hope this was informative. And even if, you know, of course I want you to buy the course, but if you don't buy the course, that's okay too. I, I want you to keep trying to get into the influencer program. I want you to build up your engagement if you're not there, or if you're already in there and you're like, oh, I just kind of want to do it on my own. That's fine too. I do have a free YouTube channel. Um, but this course, I mean, this course gives you, not only does it give you everything, it gives you my step-by-step -step process. It gives you um, all my resources. You get to watch me create videos. Um, but it's it's just going to make it a lot easier. It's, it's going to get you the money quicker um, because you have everything laid out for you um, in front of you. Um, one question, will Amazon let you have two storefronts? Um, you can, uh, no, not necessarily. You have your one storefront, but you can you can kind of craft it to what you kind of want it to be. So here's mine. I have, like I said, I have the curations. I think this is, I mean, this is important, but not super important. Like just kind of the overall, like what kind of products am I talking about? Like, what am I, what am I doing here? Right. And so my whole thing is like, all my products help me save time, spend wisely, earn money. Right. That's, that's my whole that's my whole thing. But also like I have videos of Legos, you know, that my kids building and I have videos of, you know, the bikes that my kids ride. And I have, um, actually these, <laughs> these things I just created a video for this was something we did, um, you know, an assembly at school with and things like that. So it's, you know, kind of a little bit of everything. And I think, you know, I think a common misconception is that people like, it's called the Amazon influencer program, but it's really more about like the content creation and helping Amazon customers. Like there is this barrier to entry because Amazon doesn't just, they don't want just anyone coming in, creating content. They just want to make sure that you kind of know what you're doing. Uh, um, but it's, you, you can't have two storefronts, but you can kind of work it to make it like vague if you want it to be. But I really don't think either like, you can promote this on your social for sure, but that is not a huge part of my strategy. Um, it's just not. It's mostly I'm taking advantage of the customers on Amazon already. And so, you know, yes, I will post to my social sometimes, but that's like a, that's a secondary thought for me. It's really just all about how to maximize this storefront and get as much amazing content up there as possible. Um, you can have two different store IDs. Yes, yes, you can. You can definitely have two different store IDs. Um, I believe too, you can actually create, um, yeah, you know, I'm not sure about the storefront. I will look into that. I didn't think you could, but I know that you can have different store IDs because I have different store IDs for my, for my Amazon Associates account because um, that'll help me track things. But the other thing too is that you could kind of just like, 
pick one and run with it. And if that's working, you can always do it again too. Um, there are ways to like, I know you can create two different profiles within your, um, within your, like I do creator connections, which is a program within Amazon where they help you partner with sellers to, um, basically you get a higher commission if you enroll in their campaign. So like, for example, I'm in a campaign right now where I was reviewing, um, a pencil sharpener, which was perfect for back to school. My kids use it. And so, um, I have it on there. And one of the options was like, do you want to, you know, which, which storefront do you want to use? So maybe you can create two storefronts, but I would just start with the one anyway. Um, and I don't know if it's just with Amazon and you can't do it off Amazon or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can definitely separate it in different areas if you want to, and you can definitely track it on the associate side. You can definitely have two on the associate side. Um, your two main brands with different audiences. Yeah. Um, I would start, I would start with the biggest one and then you can add the other one. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just know too, like, it's not a huge part of the strategy to bring in your audience. Uh, really the audience, your audience is most important for you to get approved for the program. And once you're approved for the program, um, like I said, I don't really have a big audience. I don't really promote my links to like, that's, I'm working on it. That's a secondary part of my strategy, but it is not what got me to 10,000 a month by any means. Um, I think it will earn more as I invest more of my time into it. And I'm, I am doing that, but, um, it's not, it's not a huge part like, like social media is. Um, all right. I have a YouTube question. Do you share your system for staying on track with posting or what's your schedule for content creation and posting? I do. I do share my system and my schedule. My schedule is like my real life in that it's inconsistent and unpredictable. And if a child needs something that becomes priority. So I do though, I have um, part of what I talk about is your goals. Like, so what are realistic goals for you as far as how many videos should you be creating in order to get to a certain um, income goal? But also what do you, um, what do you want? Do you want 2000 a month or do you want 10,000 a month? Um, you know, what, how much time do you want to spend? Do you want to be spending 10 hours a week or do you have 50 hours a week to put into this? Right. So I do go over my system and a lot of it is um, tracking in the spreadsheet um, that I showed a couple minutes ago. I have a tracking spreadsheet and then I have like a workflow where I will put um, the product information in the spreadsheet before I actually record any content. It will help me determine what products to start with based on um, how much money I think I can make with each one of them, like looking at those different metrics. And then, um, and then staying on track, right? It, yeah, it's really just like you, we can create, you know, your calendar and say, I want to do 10 videos every, every week. And then, you know, how do you make sure that you pump that out? Um, so yeah, I do talk about that. And then especially like uploading your videos and then what to do to maintain them too. Um, once they're, once they're on Amazon. So, um, all right. This has been so fun for me. I have a couple people that signed up. I'm really excited to audit your stores or help you with your first three videos. I know Kyla said she's already done her first video. So Kyla, I can't wait to see that. Um, super excited. I, I just really appreciate all of you uh, listening to my presentation and um, you know just know that all I want for you is, is success. And the easiest way that I've figured out how to do that, because I've been kind of coaching people, I guess, one-on-one -on -one over the last few months to, um, to learn my system and in the process, like creating the content for the course. And so this is really the, the best way that I know how to, um, share this information with people. And, you know, you're not just going to get set up and, and never like hear from me again. There's a Facebook group. There's, um, actually we have live discussion, um, boards on every single lesson within the course itself. So if you have a question, you can post it right in the lesson there. Um, and I will go, I will go answer it because your questions are not only are they important, but they're very valuable to help other people learn too, because you're going to think of questions that I'm not going to think of, or it's going to be a question I had a year ago that I didn't even that never crossed my mind again, right? So I am here to support you in getting to that 10,000 a month for as long as it takes. And you have lifetime access to the course. It's gonna be up here forever. And um, it's never gonna be this, this cheap. So um, I think for all the content and everything I'm showing, the price is pretty reasonable. And then as 
you know, as we take more people through the course and the system, um, the price will go up. And this 297 is only good through Monday. So, you know, I didn't want to be like, come on, buy right now. And this, you know, price ends at the end of this masterclass or whatever. Like I'm, I'm a realist. Sometimes you got to think about it and that's okay too. However, um, I do want to reward you for, you know, taking fast action because the faster you take action, the faster you're going to make that money back. So, um, Sandy says, this was really great, Kathleen. I love the step-by-step -step way you present. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I really try to convey that through the course too, you know, cause I think, like I said, with free content and training, there's a lot of information out there that is just, it's kind of all over the place, right? I'm going to stop that so you guys can, um see me for the last couple minutes here, but there's a lot of information out there that may or may not be true. You know, like there's, I watched so many YouTube videos, especially, um, what really, what really like pushed me to do this course was me watching all the videos from other influencers who are like, I've been doing this for three months and I make $20,000 a month. And here's how I did it. And I take screenshots of the products and I don't actually buy the products and I tag to products that are more expensive than the ones I actually am talking about. And like, it's all the different ways to like make a quick buck and game the system. And I'm like, oh, that's not going to work. Why are people teaching that? They're teaching it because I mean, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say they don't know any better, which isn't always true. Um, but I know from being in the Amazon space for so long that like, if you just follow Amazon's rules, again, they're going to pay you. Um, I've been a seller forever. I've made a boatload of money as a seller. I've worked with thousands of brands at this point to grow their sales channel um, on Amazon. And so it's, it's like, there's so much opportunity, but you can't, you can't make Amazon mad at you or they won't, I mean, they won't, um, they won't reward you. So, okay. I have a question about my YouTube channel. Let me throw the YouTube channel in the chat here too. Here is, and he said, thank you so much. What's your YouTube channel? Here's the YouTube channel. Um, I put a link in the chat or you can just go to, um, just type in, it's, it's under Masters of Marketplace right now because that is the brand that holds my, um, like my Amazon consulting and services business. And so I kind of just thought it was easier to put everything under there because we really were talking still talking about making money on Amazon. Um, but if you go, you can go to that link or if you're in YouTube, um, search Kathleen Coble or Masters of Marketplace and you'll find it. And I mean, the last, I don't know, seven or eight videos I did are all about the Amazon influencer program. Um, so Karen said, I'm so excited to feel like I can get started on becoming an influencer. Your course will absolutely help me. Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited. You can do it. I know you can. You all can do it. And um, that's one other thing that I, I, I forgot to put in this presentation, but something that I do at, at a, a lot of the videos, I have like a, an inspirational quote at the end because I think it's important to stay motivated, but also to know like you can do this. Like even if you have no idea what you're doing, you can do this. Anyone can do this. You just need to learn the process, do the action, and you're going to make money. Um, I, I know people that are like, I have never shot a video in my life. And now they're earning thousands of dollars, you know, doing, um, doing this with this program. So you really can know nothing. Um, this course is going to teach you all of it. So um, all right. So I'm really excited for everyone who's already joined. If you're on the fence or you have any questions, again, um, let me just throw up my uh, my info. Oh, I X out of it. So if you want to just email me directly, it's Kathleen at smartbusinessmom.com. I'll throw that in the chat as well. If you have questions or concerns or anything um, about the course, um, or you can always go back and rewatch this. We are live on YouTube right now. So if you go to the Masters of Marketplace channel, this will be available immediately. You can go back and look at it at any time here. And then uh, we're also on Zoom. So this will also be uploaded to the website. And everyone who signed up and got the email with the Zoom link, you will also get an email um, later today that has a link to watch the replay if you would like to. Or like I said, just go to YouTube and do that. I'll include that in the email as well. Um, but if there's no other questions, I really, really, again, appreciate everyone's time. I think time is our most valuable asset. And that's, again, why this course is so important to me, because I feel like I am helping people save time and make more money by sharing the systems, the processes, the 
worksheets, templates, all that good stuff that I use, that I've been using. I mean, it's been almost two years now. So um, I, I feel like I, I know what I'm doing. I mean, I've been in the Amazon space for about 12 years and the influencer program for about two years. And um, there's always things that pop up. Amazon's always testing. So there's always something new. So I do think there's a big, um, there's a, it's a big help to have other people in your circle that are doing the same thing as you. So I think the Facebook group is really helpful. And, um, and again, the discussion boards on each one of the lessons are going to be really, really valuable um, for all of us to be able to ask those questions, get them answered right there. And then when you're going through the lesson, you can see if anyone's asked questions and I'm also going to be using that to update content. Um, because again, I know Amazon and they're always updating things. So this content will be updated as Amazon puts out updates. And so when you purchase this course, you have lifetime access and that includes all the updates and anything that gets added that will just always be there for you. Um, I actually updated one of the videos before I even launched because something had changed from the time I had created the video to, um, to actually uploading it to the course. And so I had to add in like a couple of extra sections just to make sure I was covering everything. So that's all included in the course as well, every update. Um, like I said, everything like that. And especially for those first 20 people, I'm going to be personally reviewing your three videos um, or your storefront, depending on where you are in that process. So, um, all right, let me just check, make sure I have no more questions here. Nope. I think I answered all the YouTube. I think I answered all the Zooms. Great, great. Well, again, thank you, everyone. I am super excited for you, for this opportunity for you. And um, I can't wait to I can't wait to hear from you and see all the thousands of dollars you're going to be making this year, especially as the holidays approach. So I can't wait to help you learn and teach you and be your your trusted guide. And I appreciate you all coming here um, and listening to me talk about something that I love doing um, and have been pretty successful at over the last couple of years. So, um, so with that, I will say goodbye. Everyone have a great Friday, have a great rest of your weekend. And like I said, feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions over the weekend, that coupon code will expire the end of the day, Monday. So, um, if you're on the fence, go ahead and think about it. Um, but just know that if 20 people sign up before you, I won't be able to personally review your videos and your storefront. So think about that, reach out to me with any questions. And um, if you're already in there and you're already creating videos, then keep doing that, keep making that money. And I can't wait to hear about all your successes. So thank you everyone for coming and I hope to see you in the course. Bye-bye.